You guys have had to play off campus and practice off campus the last couple of years, but how important has the WEC been and the amenities to the recruiting effort for the program? Yeah, I think I think taking the uh, you know the recruiting the last two recruiting classes around the the WEC has been uh, you know has been very helpful. I think that a lot of the you know these prospective student athletes are, are uh, blown away by the level of. Uh, of a facility that it really is. I don't think any of the photos that we ever had or sent them or you know our talk you know you know matched up with the actual real thing and and uh, it's really been helpful and I think the guys that are coming in are really excited about it. Last year you had six different countries represented by the roster and the makeup of your program, five of them from Spain. How important is this international recruiting to your efforts as a head coach? You know I, I think you know the the, the idea of behind recruiting an international is, is sometimes it, you can't maybe get that same player, or that same caliber player domestically, right? Um, just as in world football, world, world soccer, every club has, you know, a handful of, of international players um, because you just can't get that player domestically. So I, I think, it, 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 you know, it's the same, same difference here, right? Um, we, we try to get that, that, um, that international player that can bring a little bit something different to the table, you know, a little flair, flavor uh, to the group um, and help us be successful. I like to just kind of sprinkle a couple of internationals all over the, uh, over the team and the roster, um, but you know, not, not too many. Our core and our bread and butter will always be, you know, our Jersey, our New York, our Eastern PA guys. And, and, and obviously nationally too, we've, we've got a great recruit coming in from El Paso, Florida. So uh, yeah, that's, that's the reason. How do you replace a golden boot winner and a guy that meant so much to the program as did Mo Garassi? Yeah, I, I think that's a, that's a good question, right? I've, I've been asked that question a lot, and, and to be fair, I've, I've looked in the mirror and, and our staff have looked at each other like, how are we going to do this? Um, I, I think, you know, Mo, Mo had a great season, no doubt. Um, I think we always teach, and my philosophy is based on collective play, not individuality. Um, although individu individuality always comes out in a game because that's, that's, uh, that's part of the, uh, the game of soccer. But um, I think we have, you know, we have players coming back from injury. Rennie White, who was our leading goal scorer two spring seasons in a row. Um, and as a freshman, he had six goals. So he, he's coming back this fall. We're really excited about him. We have, you know, we have a, a couple of attacking players coming in, um, you know, in the recruiting class. Uh, we have Pau Jimenez coming in back who had a great season for us as a freshman, uh, scored two great goals in the quarterfinal game. Uh, so I think we're going to be able to replace Mo with, with the group. I think that scoring is going to be spread out more so across the roster as opposed to just one player. You get an excellent goalkeeper back again for another year in Victor Pujadas. How does that affect the life of a head coach knowing you have a returning guy who had such a great year uh, the year yeah. before? I think you sleep you sleep well at night. I think I think having a, a, a goalkeeper who's steady, who's consistent, uh, who can always make the routine save, um, and then pull off a great to three great saves a game, I think is invaluable. Uh, you know, he, he has a leadership quality, he has a, a swagger about him in the goal that, that is so uh, important and, and quite frankly contagious to a lot of our other uh, young players. Talk about the preseason program and getting ready for the scrimmages. I tell our guys every day, you know, in the summer, you know, we, we email them and send them, you know, inspirational <laughs> quotes or whatnot. And tell, but it's going to be tough. It's tough. We work real, real hard. Um, you know, I think we track something like 16 to 18 miles uh, a day in preseason. Uh, uh, so, you know, it's part of it. It's part. Of, it's a part of uh, Division One soccer to, to to go through preseason and it being filled with hard work, adversity, but I tell our guys all the time, I go, when you graduate and you look back, you're going to miss preseason because all you have to worry about is playing soccer. That's it, nothing else for 14 days. I think the A-Sun is, is, like I said, I think is a great mid-major conference. I enjoy it uh, tremendously. The facilities are f phenomenal. The fields are phenomenal. Um, I think the, the level of play is quite good.